Yo, what's up everybody? This is William from For The Billions back with another video. I wanted to make this video real quick because I just got back from two events earlier today. The first event was for the first binational conference between America and Colombia. It was a great event. I think it was extremely helpful for a lot of people. I think that overall, uh, it was a great learning experience. I was able to get on stage and everything. So I was able to get on stage, speak, and um, have a, had a really good time overall. But I wanted to make this video because I wanted to share with you guys a post that I made on my community tab and then also on LinkedIn, uh, simply just talking about my experience um, with trying to be great in life, essentially, trying to be ambitious and telling people about what I do. And I noticed that people really don't care for that. People don't really care. Um, they don't really have the same vision for it. And I wanted to tell you guys, like this is like my new elevator pitch or my new sales pitch is I'm helping people to build their billions. And that's essentially what I want to do. I want to help people to be able to make more money, people with isolated or limited connections and no visibility in the tech space, be able to get into the tech space through networking and personal development, and then also to upskill themselves and to get into these tech roles. That's what essentially what I want to help people do. I remember I made this this YouTube channel simply because I got laid off from my job and I said, man, how am I going to teach people about the mistakes that I made so that way I can help them to not make the same mistakes and be able to get into a career that's worthwhile and fulfilling. Uh, I remember I was not doing well before I got into tech and I was going through college and I was working in a warehouse and I was like, man, there is no, I was working security, warehouse, all that kind of stuff. And I wasn't making that much money at all. I was making the mo the maximum I made throughout the whole time I was in college was $11 an hour. And I was like, man, this is nothing. $11. So that's why I advocate for people to get into tech. I want people to have a fulfilling life and they can have enough money to be able to save up for retirement to save up for themselves. So that's why I'm helping people to be able to build their own success stories and build their own billions. But essentially, right. I wanted to talk about this, this post that I made on my LinkedIn. I'm going to go ahead and share it real quick for you guys. Let's see. Let me turn it to this. Perfect. So this is the post that I made on my LinkedIn. It says my new sales pitch is I help people build their billions. My old sales pitch was I run an organization that helps people with limited connections and visibility, build their success stories through growth and professional development. I started noticing how a few people started to dismiss me when I talk to them. I always ask people questions about themselves and people can talk for hours. And I realize that too, people can really talk for hours about themselves. You ask them a few questions about themselves. Oh, Hey, where are you from? What do you do? You know, what's your name? They talk to you for like forever. And I observe that some people will turn their heads and look away from me while I'm speaking or introducing myself. And I noticed that, let me, let me show myself. I noticed that people will really do that. People will sit up there and they will, like I was talking, and this is happened at one of the events earlier today for the binational conference. And one of the guys I was talking to, I was like, hey man, I saw you at a few other events. Uh, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is William. I, you know, I wanted to hear more about what you do. Essentially, that's what I said. And the guy he was talking, he was talking about like a good 20 minutes about how he helps pe people's brands do this and that. And I was like, okay, that sounds great. And it literally took like 20 minutes. He was talking about himself for a long time. I said, hey man, um, I'm about to head on out and go to the session, but I wanted to, you know, connect with you on LinkedIn. You know, we, we're in the same spaces. We see each other pretty often. Why not go ahead and connect on LinkedIn? That way we can keep up with each other and see what else we have going on. And he was like, um, oh man, I, yeah, let's go ahead and connect on LinkedIn. So he got on LinkedIn and he, he pulled out his phone. He's going through it. He's like, oh man, I don't know how to do the QR code. I said, oh, okay, that's cool. I can show you how to do the QR code. Just click on this link right here. And then I connected with, I sent him a connection request on LinkedIn and he went through his LinkedIn. He was like, oh, okay, let me go ahead and, and, um, and accept it. But what happened? Well, he didn't accept it. What he did was, oh, okay, cool. Oh man, let me go ahead and show you my my connections really quickly, man. Yeah. My connections right quick. It is. I'm, I'm going to tell you, man, I have so many people he's going, he's scrolling through his phone. Oh man. You got, you got so many connections, man. 
and he's showing up his connections. And then I was like, I said, okay, cool. Uh, and he showed his connections. He said like, oh yeah, I got like 21,000 something, 500 con connections. Man, I, I like to meet people organically. And then when I realized that, I said, wait a second. He he is acting like he's better than me. Just by him saying that, he's and he keeps going on. He's like, oh, I have so many connections, man. I have connections to people. Anything I need, I can just call them up right quickly, man. I like to meet people organically. I don't really get on LinkedIn or any other social media like that. Uh, I just like to meet people organically for my business. I said, okay, cool. Well, hey, we're here in person, man. We're meeting each other. We're just using LinkedIn as, because it's a networking event at the end of the day. So I'm just trying to connect with people. And this is the medium that pretty much everybody uses is LinkedIn. And then I said, okay, cool. So he goes and he says that, um, yeah, man, you know, I, I ask him a question of, oh, well, hey, well, how about this, man? Do you go to uh, this this building pretty often. I asked him if he goes to the Russell Center pretty often. He's like, no, nah, I don't really go to the Russell Center pretty often. I don't really go to many of many different events. Uh, I don't really join any organizations. I'm not a part of any organizations. I'm, I'm not a part of any fraternities. I'm not a part of any uh, community building, nonprofits, or any other organizations. I just do my own business, and that's it. And then, you know, but I'm connected to all of them. I just don't, I just don't join any of them. I don't go to the gathering spot. I don't go to uh, the Russell Center that often. I don't go to this, the Atlanta Tech Village, all that kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, cool. Well, that's, to me, that's me telling you that, that's you telling me that you feel like you're better than all those other organizations and that they are not good enough for you to be able to join or like, even like stuff that is free to go to, free to join or whatever. I'm like, okay, well, why not go ahead and join any of these organizations if you want to be able to build your business? I mean, like, yeah, you got connections, but, like, why not go and get more visibility in different sectors so that way your business can grow even more than that? But he seemed like he had everything um, figured out, and that's what I should have told him. I should have told him, like, hey, man, you know, you look like you have everything figured out, man. You don't really need another connection. And that's really what it really is. is that's a, a part of sales is telling people, like, hey, you know what? Being able to disqualify people is what I should be able to do. Hey, man, you can see like you got too many connections, man. You got like 21,500 connections. You got so many things going on. You're part of all, you're uh, connected with all these organ other organizations and everything else. Why even, you know, why even talk to me, man? You know, it's okay. I, you know, I just wanted to say what's up to you. And uh, that's really what I should have said. What I essentially what I said was, okay, that sounds great, man. And then, um, you know, I told him a little bit more about what I do essentially because he asked me, he asked me like, hey, okay, well, what do you do? And then I was telling him and uh, immediately after I started speaking and I was only talking for like probably 20 to 30 seconds. It wasn't even a minute long. Uh, essentially what he did was he just did this. He... And I, was, I, I never seen something like that before. Essentially what he did was I was telling him like, Hey man, I, I run a, an organization that helps people to grow within their professional networks. And he's, he looking everywhere else but in my eyes. I thought that was really strange. Like two men talking to each other, you usually would expect for them to be speaking to each other, man, like man to man, or eye to eye. And what he was showing me was that he was dismissive and showing me some disrespect because, like, hey, you already are flexing on me that you got so many, so many connections and stuff like that you can call on, but also that. But I, whatever I'm talking about isn't important enough for you to break your concentration from whatever you're looking at. Like he wasn't looking at anything. Like nothing was going on. Like there was no nobody doing anything. Everybody was just eating, sitting down. He had to look away so that way he knew. So that way I knew that he didn't give a fuck about. Sorry, that he did not care about what I was saying. And uh, that's essentially what was what was going on. So I uh, I just was like, okay, cool. Let me just go ahead and go forward and uh i finished my pitch or whatever and then shook his hand and, and walked off it only took about like 30 seconds i just told him exactly what i said in my post and it didn't even take me 30 seconds to be able to say that on the video so whatever i was talking about he didn't care about i could have said that i had the cure for cancer and he wouldn't have cared he just was like that but i realized as i go to these networking events and conferences and try to network with people and talk to people like hey you went to a networking event or a business event and you didn't feel like hearing what other people had going on or feeling like networking oh yeah i i don't even get on linkedin but i'm gonna go to a networking event where everybody i know people are gonna ask me for my linkedin like you know people are gonna ask you for your linkedin you know people are gonna ask you for your contact information why even go to an event that you know you're not gonna interact with people for it didn't make any sense to me 
But essentially, that's what happened. Uh, that's why I made this post. And it kind of rubbed me the wrong way, man. It's kind of ruined my mood a little bit. But let me finish reading this real quickly. So it says, uh, they're showcasing their disinterest whenever they look away from you when you're talking to them. And they're showing disrespect, essentially. I learned that when you're driven and ambitious, not everyone will want to help you or see you succeed. Your worth isn't diminished by those who don't recognize it. It's okay that people don't see your value yet. You just have to get on stage and show them how it's done. And here's a picture of me when I am on the stage at this event. I'm talking about self-worth. I'm talking about professional development. Uh, and I'm just like, hey, look, I'm over here on stage. I'm dressed up in a suit. You know, and then people will still disrespect me. Like, whatever you're doing does not really matter to them. Um, even if they're at an event where this is what it is. Hey, everybody's networking with each other. Everybody's trying to grow uh, professionally. If you already have all the answers. And that's what I realized is that sometimes what you can do in sales is you can either challenge people directly like oh so since you have everything already set up why not just go ahead and do it yourself like why are you at this event like yeah you're at this event that's basically people networking with each other gaining connections talking to more people if you have all the connections in the world then why are you at a, at a event that is geared towards networking doesn't make much sense to me so you can say those types of things it may sound smart but when you say those types of things people will respect you more and because it's like really straightforward. Like, hey, why are you here if you don't want to be a part of what the event is about? So with that being said, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Hopefully you found value in this type of video. And if you did, please go ahead and hit the like button, share and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, that like that you give me may mean a small click for you, but it means a lot to me and I would really appreciate it. Please go ahead and hit the link in the description so that way you can check out the Before the Billions website so that way you can join the, the newsletter and then also the Discord. I would really appreciate it, guys. Don't forget to build your billions and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all so much.